Although most people haven't heard of geodesy, one geodetic technique is GPS. Please drive to highlighted route. The GPS in your car can get you to your location within, let's say, tens of meters. However, for measuring plate tectonics or other geophysical parameters, scientists need instruments that can provide these measurements much more precisely to within millimeters. And the network of GPS receivers that we use can provide that. My name is Carrie Knoll. I'm a computer scientist in the Solar System Exploration Division. I'm also the manager of the Crustal Dynamics Data Information System, or the CDDIS. The CDDIS is NASA's archive of space geodesy data and products. A typical day at the CDDIS involves checking to make sure that what went on over the evening through all of our automated processes uh, completed successfully. I meet with the staff to make sure that you know everything is working correctly, but we also are developing new applications, uh, new ways to present the data. And then there's also answering tons of email every day to help users find what they're looking for, archive new data sets or information about data, helping them use the data and the products that we have in the CDDIS. Well, I probably should say that the uh, most exciting part of working here at Goddard was that I met my future husband. But being here at Goddard, working with some of the brightest scientists in the world is a very rewarding thing, as well as enabling those scientists to do their research through what we do at the CDDIS. I've been working at Goddard for uh, over 31 years, and it's been a, a very rewarding experience. <laughs>